This video is brought to you by StyleFlip.com. Customize and protect your music equipment now. Hi, I'm Mike from StyleFlip. Today we're going to show you how to customize your own skin. As you can see here, this is my Zone 92 mixer, which is already style flipped. The nice thing about it is it actually protects, protects your mixer from any kinks or damages that you might have. So when you peel it off, it's going to look like a brand new mixer. It won't damage it or leave a mark. Another nice feature is you can zoom in and see the info layers. Those are the knob control uh, layers that tell you what, what each uh, knob does. You don't lose that. You can easily click one button, put it right back on your mixer over your design. So now I'm going to take you to styleflip.com and show you how to create one of your own. Once you get to styleflip.com, you can browse through the products. Again, we do mixers, turntables, CDJs, phones, laptops, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But the easiest way to find your product is just to type it into the search bar that's over on the top left there. So I'm going to type in Zone 92, and then see that the Zone 92 pops up in the middle. Click on that. It'll pop up the face plates. In this case, there's two face plates. There's actually two versions of the Zone 92. One's a rotary option, and the other one's an up and down fader option. That's the one that I have, so I'm going to click on that. Give it a second to load. Now, this is where the fun starts because you can actually start uploading your own images and creating your own design. You can either use our default images over in the graphic tab here. You can choose from logos, abstract designs, city skylines. Um, some patterns, popular patterns. I'm going to actually drop in the, the style flip logo because I know I'm going to use that. Another thing is you can upload your own images. If you click on the upload image tab here and you hit upload new, click on the browse button and you can actually see the hard drive, see whatever you have on your hard drive. So now I'm going to click on my image for the skyline that I want to put, a Minneapolis skyline. Click on that and I'm going to name it MPLS. I got this image off of Google doing a Google search, Google image search, just saved it onto my hard drive. Now hit upload and it's right in my player where I can actually use it to customize. So if I click it, it actually drops it in the middle. I'm just going to move it over because I do have that styleflip.com there. I'm going to show you another option, DJ add text. So I'm going to add DJT for the add text. So if I click create text there, I'm going to type in DJT. No couple of features that you can see here is the colors. I can change the color of the text from red to blue, yellow, whatever color you want it to be. I'm going to make it red in this case. The other nice thing is all the fonts that you have in your hard drive actually appear um, in the player. So it actually loads all the fonts that you have on your computer. So I'm going to choose the font that I want to use and hit add text. It's going to add the text sim similar to an image. It just overlays it right there over in the right. So now if I click on that, that actually popped it in there as well. Now I can actually start designing because I know I want to use these three images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the actual image. You can move it side to side or up and down. You can click on the actual corners to resize. Or you can click on the green button and actually rotate and spin the image around. And I'm going to begin to lay it, overlay it. So now I'm going to put my DJT over on the bottom of the mixer right there. And it looks really small, but it's going to be a lot bigger than you think. The other thing I'm going to take is the Style Flip logo. I'm going to put it at the top. I'm going to shrink that down a little bit. I'm going to put it up top there. And then for the main image, I'm going to bring that to the top. I'm going to click on the corners here, and I'm going to stretch it out and lay it out the way I need to. Now, one thing to notice is the image right now doesn't show the Style Flip. So I'm going to use these tabs up at the top here. And this this one that says arrange objects and I'm gonna bring the style I'm gonna bring this to the very back because right now it's in between the DJT and the style flip so if I go to the bottom just move that to the bottom you can see that the style flip now pops up other things to note at the top features is you can copy paste and delete your images you can again arrange them up down top bottom you can also scale them which is just like clicking on the edges you can you know scale them to different sizes you can rotate them which is just like clicking on that green button also you can change the transparencies of the images if you don't want them to be as uh, as uh, as transparent so no, the other thing is you can zoom in so we can see zoom in really close and see what it looks like zoom out other features include the alpha layer now this actually once I toggle this all the way to the right you can see what it actually looks like on your mixer zoomed in a little bit too close there so now you can see what it looks like on your actual mixer one last thing to show you guys is the knob control info layers here are the knob control info layers I'm just gonna turn on layer one 
now in the zone 92 actually has two different groups of info layers so we have them separated in layer one and layer two if you click on um, layer two you can actually turn uh, turn it on by just clicking turn on so I'm gonna make the layer two red and layer one's gonna be white now these are glows what a glow is is it just surrounds the object with uh, another color I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see that so those are the info layers now if I turn on a glow I'm gonna put it on in black I'm gonna turn it on there for you can see the glow right there and a black glow with the white around it now what that does is if you have some if you want your knob controls to be white but you have some white in your images obviously they'll blend together so it'll make it with the black surrounding that way you can see the black in the areas that are actually white so the last thing that we do is we hit save and we can see what it looks like so what you see is what you get so this is really important before you add it to the cart to really preview this and see if it's what you like and you can use this zoom button right to left there and you can also click on the image to move it around so I can see that the style flips what I like the DJT is really good and then I hit add cart and then from there you just put in your check continue check out put in your credit card and within three to five business days your style flip should be on your way thank you very much and enjoy